Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm your host today and I'm covering with you today the supercharger expansion and the dojo computer as well as the AI day that is happening today. So let's start with the supercharger expansion here. If we talk about supercharger expansion, for example, in Europe, it is really important for the German market to further expand. We do see all the gray points here that Tesla is planning to open this year or beginning of next year. Um, going up to Denmark, we have a lot of open and planned uh, places here as well. So it's really important for Tesla to expand in Germany as the new factory is starting pretty soon. Um, I have talked about yesterday that the environmental groups have now um, yeah, pretty much stopped any more lawsuits. So I do expect that everything is going to go smooth from this point on and we will have the first um, cars going out in Berlin by the end of the year. But till then we have a lot of Model Ys coming from China. In the first month from China it was around 8200 Model Ys and we do have the Model 3 as a leading electric car month by month. Um, in the European market. So it is really important for Tesla here to start expanding the supercharging network, especially as Tesla is planning to further open it. Um, when we look at Austin, we do know that in um, Austin and uh, San Antonio, Houston, so everything in Texas, Tesla is trying to expand as well and um, is hiring a lot of people to take care of the supercharging network and the new locations here. So Tesla is really on a hiring streak here, trying to get the supercharging network much bigger and much faster growing than it is already going. Because as well in the United States, um, we do have once Austin is um, going to start producing cars, two factories and this would mean that even more cars come to the street and please share your experience with charging in the United States as I'm not from there. Um, if you have that kind of issues in getting spots to charge your car um, because in Germany it is uh, really difficult because we do have a lot of companies, a lot of um, brands that have chargers and it's sometimes pretty complicated to um, get the apps or the possibilities to charge at all these different companies and so it's a bit of a mess over here but I think it will get better in the future. So in this uh, today's episode I'm also going to talk about the AI day which is going to happen tonight and um, it's really really important to understand that the AI day is um, going to be pretty much the um, second meeting after the so-called autonomous day and we can pretty much say that this is now the new name AI day and I think that a lot of people that have no idea what actually Tesla is doing a part of selling cars and energy products this is a really great opportunity to get a glimpse and an idea what Tesla is doing a part of all the core business and the Dojo computer which is part of this entire story here um, will be eventually one of the biggest computers ever built, the most powerful computer in the world at some point maybe or one of them and it's going to be really important for Tesla to um, use the capabilities of this computer to make more money. So I will take an example here. We only have uh, for example Amazon as an example having the marketplace selling products and all of that and then at some point they realized well we have to go with the cloud business as well and the cloud business is pretty much for Amazon what the dojo business would be for Tesla in the future because Tesla could make so much more money once they expand the dojo computer capabilities for other businesses. So what it means pretty much other companies, other car companies, but or as well general companies that need the AI capabilities um, can pretty much pay for the entrance to use um, the capabilities of the Dojo computer and that would pretty much open an entire software um, recurring um, income for Tesla like the cloud business for other companies today. 
So I think there's much more money to be made in the dojo and AI part than even in the cloud business. So that is my personal opinion, but please do let me know if you think differently here. Um, furthermore, um, Elon Musk has pretty much proven already that Tesla will be at some point not be in their mind of the people, of the customers. Um, people will not think about Tesla as a car or energy company in the future, but rather as an AI company. So this pretty much um, uh, shows where Tesla is going to go at some point. People will um, talk about AI in the future much more than about the cars itself. And one little part of this entire future is pretty much the self-driving autonomous um, fleet that Tesla will build at some point. So we do see that we have a lot of questions, a lot of things that we can maybe expect from the AI day. The worst case is Tesla CEO Elon Musk is just going to do what he um, said officially, that he's just going to do that AI day to interest more people into the technology and maybe to work for Tesla. That would be pretty much the worst case if he just would do that. But I do expect that they are planning many, many more things that he doesn't want to talk about before. And maybe we will see some great surprises. Just as a reminder for the autonomous day or the battery day, all those days had a lot of excitement around before it started. And afterwards, the stock pretty much always crashed a bit because some people had more expectations. Um, but again, I um, would say a lot of people of you if they are invested in Tesla, are long-term investors, as many people out there are. Um, these short-term traders don't understand the value of holding the stock for a long time. So again, I think um, we can see major surprises, more explanation of what Tesla is actually planning over the next few years. Or maybe as well some explanation what the capabilities of the Dojo computers is. And maybe the businesses Tesla wants to go into once the capabilities are 100% reached. So please let me know what you think, what your expectations is are. Um, if you have a certain focus on what you will look for in this meeting. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to have you here again. And I'm um, looking forward to have you for another video tomorrow. So um, take care, guys. Thank you very much for listening to my daily updates. And um, I wish you all a wonderful day. And take care, guys. Thank you very much for listening to my channel. Bye-bye.